teach are drilling, memorization, dialogues, and conversation. Okay. So the first one is drilling. Okay, drilling. Um, the meaning of drilling is it refers to a type of audio lingual techniques. Is what uh, Rubina has mentioned earlier, and the students repeating a model, phrase, or word provided by the teacher and it is used to practice grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation. Okay, so basically it is a way to learn something by repeating it regularly. Okay, repeating is the keyword here because um, apparently that's what apparently that's what drilling means. Repeating, you know like uh, the students repeat after the teacher. So Types of drilling. There are repetition, imitation drills, substitution drills, question and answer drills, transforming drills, and choral drills. There are actually more, but I only managed to insert some. Um, next one is problem. Okay, uh, everything has its pros and cons, right? So it's the same thing with drill. It has its perks and its problems too. Okay, so the problems with drills is they're not meaningful. So the focus is on accuracy rather than fluency. They are mechanical, they don't convey much meaning, they are decontextualized. Drills help fix structure in memory only for a short period of time. But to be actual, this technique is uh, this technique uh, Drilling is a technique that is still being used by the teachers, many teachers in many parts of the world. Although it has been discredited, discredited, uh, sorry. Uh, drilling is a technique that is still being used by many teachers in many parts of the world. Although it has been discredited uh, in, in modern methods of teaching. There are a few traditional methods of memorizing um, that's been used uh, back then or even now still. And the first one is acronym. So we all know that acronym mean, means um, it's an invented combination of letters. And this technique is commonly used by the teachers in teaching. Um, yeah, it is better in elementary or primary school because it is much easier to, to teach the children. Next. Next one is acrostic. It's something similar to acronyms, um, but instead of creating or inventing a new word, in, in, each first letter is converted into into cute sentences. I mean. Yeah, just look at the example of the cute sentence. The next one is around kids. Um, you have a number list, associate a particular word with a number. The word list becomes part of the story where the associated word is attached to the list in a fun way. So that's the example of round kids, as you can see on the screen. So problems, there are problems with memorization actually. So actually, uh, memorization does not really foster students' understanding accidentally. You guys agree with me? Yeah. yeah, okay. So I'll give you an example. It's something common, it's something um, close to us students. Okay, so when the examination is around the corner, um, we probably couldn't uh, manage to cover all the syllabus uh, that we've been learning throughout the whole semester. Okay, so we, the night before, we tend to cram everything in um, into our into our mind. So, um, at, oh, okay, cramming cram is actually I don't know the term to say, but it's one of the method of memorizing. But only it lasts for a short period of time. 
Yeah. Yeah, usually when examination is, like, is around the corner. Like. And it can usually happens because we procrastinate a lot. I mean, yeah, the last minute, yeah, that's what crime is. We, I mean, I procrastinate a lot. I need to procrastinate a lot. Okay, we all procrastinate a lot, so. Can you pause? I, all right. Thank you. 